In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who gladden us year by year with the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection, graciously grant that by celebrating these present festivities, we may merit through them to reach eternal joys. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles Once when Peter and John were going up to the temple for the prayers at the ninth hour, it happened that there was a man being carried past. He was a cripple from birth, and they used to put him down every day near the temple entrance called the Beautiful Gate, so that he could beg from the people going in. When this man saw Peter and John on their way into the temple, he begged from them. Both Peter and John looked straight at him and said, Look at us! He turned to them expectantly hoping to get something from them. But Peter said, I have neither silver nor gold, but I will give you what I have. In the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene, walk. Peter then took him by the hand and helped him to stand up. Instantly his feet and ankles became firm. He jumped up stood and began to walk, and he went with them into the temple, walking and jumping and praising God. Everyone could see him walking and praising God, and they recognized him as the man who used to sit begging at the beautiful gate of the temple. They were all astonished and unable to explain what had happened to him. The Word of the Lord Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. Give thanks to the Lord, tell His name, make known His deeds among the peoples. O oh, sing to Him, sing His praise, tell all His wonderful works. Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. Be proud of His holy name. Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. Consider the Lord and His strength. Constantly seek His face. Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. O children of Abraham, His servant, O sons of the Jacob He chose, He the Lord is our God. His judgments prevail in all the earth. Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. He remembers His covenant forever, His promise for a thousand generations, the covenant He made with Abraham, the oath He swore to Isaac. Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. Alleluia, Alleluia! This day was made by the Lord. We rejoice and are glad. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Two of the disciples of Jesus were on their way to a village called Emmaus, seven miles from Jerusalem, and they were talking together about all that had happened. Now, as they talked this over, Jesus himself came up and walked by their side, but something prevented them from recognizing him. He said to them, What matters are you discussing as you walk along? They stopped short, their faces downcast. Then one of them, called Cleopas, answered him, You must be the only person staying in Jerusalem who does not know the things that have been happening there these last few days. What things? he asked. 
all about Jesus of Nazareth, they answered, who proved he was a great prophet by the things he said and did in the sight of God and of the whole people. And how our chief priests and our leaders handed him over to be sentenced to death and had him crucified. Our own hope had been that he would be the one to set Israel free. And this is not all. Two whole days have gone by since it all happened, and some women from our group have astounded us. They went to the tomb in the early morning, and when they did not find the body, they came back to tell us they had seen a vision of angels who declared he was alive. Some of our friends went to the tomb and found everything exactly as the women had reported, but of him they saw nothing. Then he said to them, You foolish men, so slow to believe the full message of the prophets. Was it not ordained that the Christ should suffer and so enter into his glory? Then starting with Moses and going through all the prophets, he explained to them the passages throughout the scriptures that were about himself. When they drew near to the village to which they were going, he made as if to go on, but they pressed him to stay with them. It is nearly evening, they said, and the day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. Now while he was with them at table, he took the bread and said the blessing. Then he broke it and handed it to them. And their eyes were opened and they recognized him, but he had vanished from their sight. Then they said to each other, Did not our hearts burn within us as he talked to us on the road and explained the scriptures to us? They set out that instant and returned to Jerusalem. There they found the eleven assembled together with their companions who said to them, Yes, it is true. The Lord has risen and has appeared to Simon. Then they told their story of what had happened on the road and how they had recognized him at the breaking of bread. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Emmaus story is a living parable for Christian discipleship. It suggests that if we travel life's journey in company with others, sharing our faith and doubts with them, Christ will be walking beside us, opening our minds to his saving truth. Just as he gave understanding to the two on the road to Emmaus, so he does for all who take time to listen to him. His promise remains, I am with you always. In those early years, they had many proofs of his powerful presence, as seen by various miracle stories in the Acts of the Apostles. Today's story dramatizes Peter's healing powers once he called on Jesus' name. Not only is the crippled man cured, he jumps up and enters the temple with them, leaping and praising God. The people's amazement gives Peter a chance to explain to them the source of his healing gift. He has it from the risen Christ. Spiritually, we are all on an Emmaus journey or pilgrimage of faith. We may be baffled by some of the things that happen to us, maybe the loss of a job, a career failure, even the collapse of a relationship or being let down by friends or family members. We have been shocked by sexual abuses in our own church. When so much of the outlook seems gloomy, we may feel as helpless and downcast as those two disciples on the road. Like them, we need the light that Christ offers. When we cannot make sense of things, we need to lean on him for support. We need to search the scriptures together and enjoy his company in the breaking of bread. And then we can go out and share his good news with others. 
the two disciples were leaving Jerusalem because it had such painful memories for them. It was just outside the city walls that the one they loved and trusted, whose message gave such hope and meaning, had died. Jerusalem had killed not only Jesus, but the hopes of his friends and cast a shadow over them. Although they didn't realize it at the time, Jerusalem was not just the place where Jesus was put to death. It was also the place where he rose from the dead and where the risen Lord would gift them with the Holy Spirit. It was the center from where his message would spread out to the world. The Lord journeyed with these two disciples to help them to see that there was more to Jerusalem than they realized. Often the place we try to get away from, which seem dreary and dark, are where the seeds of new life will be found. For God can always bring light out of darkness. Having been nourished by the word of God, let us now then offer up our needs and the prayers we keep in the silence of our hearts as we say the prayer that Jesus himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. We pray, O Lord, that the reverent reception of the sacrament of your Son may cleanse us from our old ways and transform us into a new creation through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the Almighty God bless us all in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, sisters and brothers, for joining us in today's Liturgy of the Word. Have a beautiful day and joyful week ahead. God bless and Happy Easter.